Anyone who watches dirt tracks knows we do a lot of test rides throughout the course of the season, but it always seems inevitably at the end of the year, we'll have one test ride left to do, and we get a huge dumping of snow here at home in Northern Ontario. This season was no different, but that didn't change the fact that the test had to happen. Oh yeah, let's get that heat up. So we headed to a riding area in Southern Ontario where there was no snow, a place called Gopher Dunes, which is mainly a national level motocross track, but they also have a whole forest full of excellent ATV trails. The vehicle we're testing today is CF Moto's new C-Force 1000 2-Up. And I wanted to approach this test just a little bit different than normal. So I thought it would be a good idea to find a diehard CF Moto fan Someone with lots of experience riding off-road on ATVs, but someone who hasn't yet tried a Seaforce. Darren's story about how he got involved riding off-road is a pretty unique one. He didn't get brought into this sport by a friend or simply on his own devices. He actually got started riding ATVs through work by doing patrols on ATVs for the Canadian National Forces Military Police. So I'm a sergeant with the Canadian Forces Military Police. I uh, joined direct entry in 2008, and after about a year training, I was posted to Goose Bay, Labrador, which is basically a power sports uh, paradise. And part of my job was to do ATV side-by-side -side and snowmobile patrols. So kind of like you guys at Dirt Tracks, uh, I got paid to, to ride, except my stuff all had lights and sirens on it. How's it going, man? Hey, good, good, how are you? It's good to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah, thanks for making the trip down here. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate your CF Moto diehard, so yeah. <laughs> thought we better bring you down and show sure. you some new iron, like give you a chance to try it out and get your thoughts on it. Yeah, pretty excited, can't wait. I watched Dirt Tracks TV for probably the last 10 years or so, so uh, just getting the phone call from Luke, he, even in itself was an awesome experience. Darren has experience with a huge range of motorized vehicles, kind of like me, which should make him not only really fun to ride with, but also somebody whose opinion about the C-Force 1000 is actually based on real world experience. We brought you a brand new beast. Oh, this looks like a beauty. Yeah, yeah. So I figured maybe I'd just give you a quick rundown of it first, so you know while you're riding it what you're thinking about and sure. what features to, to have a look at. So this one has a few accessories on it to start with. The sure. windshield is an accessory and the cargo box in the back, those aren't okay. included. Nice pieces though. Yeah, for sure. They look really good, but uh, for anybody watching, this is not the way they come. Start at the front, I guess. Obviously it's a new restyle, which I think is pretty nice looking. It's it's very modern. CF Motors all come with a winch. Yours yep. all did. This sure. one does too, 3,000 pound winch. I like the headlights with the accent lighting. It gives yeah. a very modern look to it. Um, they do such a great job with their wheels. I mean, aren't those nice looking wheels? Yeah. They're the same as what's on yours, but with a little bit more style to them. Yeah. But 14 inch aluminum wheels, uh, CST stag tires, 27 inch, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to buy aftermarket wheels and tires when you get it. Yeah. Two up, obviously, which I think probably appeals to you quite a bit. Oh, 100%. Yeah, family so, four. And they do a great job two up as well. I mean, the back seat is yeah. really comfortable. I can speak from experience. It's very similar to their other ones. Um, but my wife actually likes being on the back. She's okay. comfortable. They do a great job with her foot pegs too. I mean, look at how gnarly yeah. that is. You know, your it's wife's perfect. not gonna fall off or crash into you every time you turn a corner or hit the brakes. Nice gauge on this vehicle. It's got a great display. Shocks on this thing are pretty neat. They're not Elkas, but they're like a really nice looking piggyback shock, which is yeah. cool. And it's a real piggyback. It's not just for show, but it's compression adjustable. And then obviously this preload adjustable as well. But I mean, that's a lot more than you get on most vehicles in this class. In fact, I don't think there's another 1000cc two up ATV that yeah. comes with that level of shock. So that's pretty neat for this vehicle, I think. Yeah. Two inch hitch receiver and CF Motos all come with the hitch. Yep. Cool looking taillights as well, storage in the back. It's, it's a trailing arm rear suspension. Okay. It doesn't look like it yeah. unless you get right down and look at it, but you can see the big trailing arm oh, in yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, I see it. So under the hood is a 963cc V-twin. It's a good motor. Uh, they've used it elsewhere. Uh, 74 horsepower, or the V-twin. Oh, yeah. It's got some jam, right? Um, it also has CV Tech clutches, good. which are super high-end clutches. And they make clutches, CV Tech makes clutches for almost everybody. So, you know, that's, that's a really big selling feature, in my opinion, on this vehicle. And then a really small selling feature that people <laughs> don't think about is you got not only your 12 volt, but they also included USB plugs oh, for you. So like you can plug in everything right from the get-go. 
So Luke gave me a quick tour of the machine, showed me how everything works and where things were located, and uh, the specs look nice. I just was excited to see how that translates into uh, usable performance. So there you go. That's our pony for the day. Awesome. Can't wait uh, to ride it. I mean, there's one caveat to this. Yeah. I got to ride it first because I haven't <laughs> ridden it either. So yeah, fair I'm, enough. I'm riding first, and then we'll go put a few miles on, and then Sounds we'll good. get it on the trail. We'll switch it up, yeah. and uh, you can ride it, and then maybe we'll compare our notes with what we thought of it at the end of it all. a lot of layers. Stay puffed marshmallow man. So it's my second season on the uh, Z Force 500 here and first and foremost I ride trails um, but I have also used it to do things like uh, haul wood across campgrounds. I used it to plow snow in the winter and does an excellent job at that stuff as well because I wasn't quite sure how I would like it compared to uh, the ATVs that I own. So I jumped right in there. It was the best value on the market. I really really liked it. Within about a month I bought a second one for my wife. So the thing that really comforted me was the five-year warranty. So uh, without knowing too much about CF Moto, that warranty was the assurance that I needed to go ahead with the purchase. So it's, it's really great, especially the Z Force 500. You buy like a base model machine, best uh, value and most affordable side-by-side uh, -side on the market. And it comes with more features than uh, any of its higher price competitors. So as, as far as the actual machine goes, uh, it was way more capable than I ever thought. I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but I, my riding group is mostly uh, ATV riders, and I can go anywhere they can go, um, which was great. The trails at Gopher Dunes are quite tight, very twisty, and also have quite a lot of mud, but there's some fast sections as well, which makes it a great area to test an ATV like the Seaforce 1000. The mud did cause a bit of a problem for Darren while he was riding behind me, but I could tell he was a pretty aggressive rider and no amount of mud was going to slow him down. After a couple hours on the Seaforce 1000, a few things really stood out to me as being very, very good. First and foremost, the motor. This 1000 motor has tons of power. It's got well over 70 horsepower. And actually the vehicle as a whole just feels very strong, like it can pull down a house. I also really like the seating position. It was very comfortable. Ergonomically, this is a very comfortable bike to ride. Everything is right where it should be in terms of placement, except the brake lever is on the right-hand side. And single lever braking on the right-hand side is very awkward, but it's something you would get used to. CF Moto has done an excellent job at styling, and they also always do an excellent job of including accessories. When you buy a CF Moto, you don't have to buy anything else. It comes with everything you already need, like a winch, like hand guards, like mirrors. All the stuff that you might add to another AT that would be an extra expense comes standard on a CF Moto. In terms of ride quality, the Seaforce 1000 is a bit of a conundrum to me. It's very short on travel with six and a half inches up front and seven and a half inches out back, but the travel is very plush and it actually rides good on the small stuff, but it does seem to get overworked on the bigger hits. I'm quite impressed with this thing actually. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. The power is really nice. Like it's got a lot of bottom end, it's really comfortable too. I mean, you're all muddy and I'm like completely clean. So <laughs> I guess all the fenders are doing their work, eh? Exactly. Yeah. No, it's a pretty sweet ATV. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what your thoughts are. Apparently, I'm in to get muddy now. So first impression, the very first thing I noticed was how uh, smoothly it, it shifted into gear through, throughout the gears. It was nice and smooth. Gave you the impression that it was a really good quality machine. So the CV Tech clutch uh, seems to be tuned perfectly for the motor. Power delivery was really, really smooth throughout. Uh, hammered it on the throttle a few times and uh, it's exactly how you would like it to respond. So it was a touring machine. The suspension setup kind of plush. Um, so it was a super comfortable ride. I would love to have my wife on the back. Full expectation that she'd be comfortable on the back. Even though it was plush, I could still throw it around corners and uh, it really handled well. I think that if you're interested as a potential buyer, a good thing to do would be touch base with your dealership and see if you can get on a test ride because I'm sure you'd be convinced like I was.
I know I had a great day riding the Seaforce 1000 and a great day hanging out, getting to meet and ride with Darren. I think the best sales pitch for the Seaforce 1000 though is that Darren is in the market for a new two-up ATV. And after our day riding together, he's pretty sure he's gonna go buy one. Thanks for watching Dirt Tracks TV. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and leave us a comment. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And if you want to be notified of future updates, make sure you turn the bell on. Thanks for watching.